The collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 was not a sudden event, but a consequence of a myriad of factors. One of the fundamental causes was the stagnating economy. For decades, the Soviet economy struggled under the weight of its own inefficiencies. The centralized planning system failed to meet the needs of its people, leading to widespread shortages and a lack of innovation. The Soviet Union's heavy investment in the military-industrial complex drained resources from consumer goods and services, further exacerbating the economic decline. Furthermore, the costly arms race with the United States during the Cold War placed an enormous strain on the Soviet economy. As the USSR attempted to match the technological advancements of the West, it diverted critical funds away from essential domestic programs. This unsustainable economic model created a foundation of instability that would ultimately lead to the Soviet Union's downfall. In 1985, Mikhail Gorbachev rose to power, bringing with him a vision of reform and renewal. His twin policies of restructuring and openness aimed to revitalize the Soviet Union by introducing elements of market economics and increasing transparency within the government. Gorbachev's intentions were to modernize the Soviet system and bridge the gap between the USSR and the Western world. However, these reforms had unintended consequences, disrupted the already fragile economy, leading to increased shortages and unemployment meanwhile exposed the deep-seated corruption and inefficiencies within the Communist Party, eroding the public's trust in the government. Instead of stabilizing the Soviet Union, Gorbachev's policies accelerated its unraveling. The reaction of the Soviet people to Gorbachev's reforms was mixed. While provided a newfound freedom of speech and the press, it also unleashed a wave of pent-up frustration. Citizens began to openly criticize the government, and nationalist movements gained momentum in various Soviet republics. The Baltic states in particular saw a resurgence of independence movements, leading to mass demonstrations and calls for secession. These movements were not limited to the Baltic region. Across the Soviet Union, people demanded more autonomy and greater political freedoms. The weakening of central control emboldened these republics, setting the stage for the eventual dissolution of the USSR. The collapse of the Soviet Union had profound global implications. It marked the end of the Cold War, leading to a significant reduction in nuclear tensions between the superpowers. The United States emerged as the world's sole superpower, reshaping international relations and the geopolitical landscape. In Eastern Europe, the collapse of Soviet control led to a wave of democratic revolutions. Countries like Poland, Hungary, and Czechoslovakia transitioned from communist regimes to democratic governments, joining Western institutions such as NATO and the European Union. The economic and political restructuring of these nations paved the way for their integration into the global economy. The dissolution of the Soviet Union also had a ripple effect in regions beyond Europe. It influenced the political dynamics in Asia, Africa, and Latin America where Soviet support had previously bolstered communist movements. The shift in global power dynamics fostered new alliances and conflicts, reshaping the world order. The fall of the Soviet Union was a watershed moment in history. It brought an end to a powerful ideology that had shaped the 20th century and redefined the political landscape of the world. As we reflect on this period, we recognize the resilience of the human spirit in the face of immense change and the enduring quest for freedom and democracy. In the aftermath of the Soviet collapse, Russia underwent significant political and economic reforms, yet it continues to grapple with its complex Soviet legacy and the challenges of building a modern democratic society.